New at six, USF researchers are identifying viruses in red tide blooms for the very first time. Hours ago, 10 Tampa Bay's Han Denis visited the local lab where microbiologists say this could curb future red tide blooms. These are cultures that we maintain in the lab. At this USF St. Pete lab. Every time there's a red tide bloom, FWC would go out uh, on boats to collect samples. Samples of Florida Karenia brevis or red tide blooms are tested. This Karenia brevis cultures that we are maintaining in the lab. As researcher oh, Dr. Jean Lim works to identify and isolate viruses within. We're able to better look at the roles of viruses in these blooms, whether viruses promote or they uh, stop Karenia uh, brevis blooms. The research could help forecast red tide blooms. So you can see them swimming and one day even stop them from forming. This is the first step of exploring what are the viruses that could potentially kill Carina brevis. Dr. Lim says viruses are very specific about which ocean species they infect, making it an environmentally sound plan of attack. Could actually lead us to a potential solution for red type blooms, which is more specific and doesn't cause widespread damage to the environment. For coastal businesses like New Pass Grill, hey, how y'all doing today? Hampered by past blooms. I mean, if it gets gets to the next level, it can definitely slow down our business quite a bit. It's a solution they're eager for. You know, nobody wants to eat a burger next to a pile of dead fish. In St. Petersburg, Hannah Deneen, 10 Tampa Bay. That is very true and good <laughs> news for spring breakers. According to the latest report from FWC, there are currently no red reports of red tide blooms along Tampa Bay's coast.